manifesting my destiny by faith. Hallelujah. Right? We know that all this prayer business that we are doing is all by faith. Hallelujah. We are moving by faith and not by sight. We are moving by faith and not by feeling. We are moving by faith and not by fear. We are not, we are not moving by what friends are saying. We are not moving by what the weather is saying. But we are moving by faith in God. Hallelujah. Say thank you, Jesus. Right. Let's quickly define what faith is so that we can be reading from the same page in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you very much, our children who, who are coming and who are on the platform already. Congratulations. Hallelujah. Boys and girls, congratulations because, yes, this might look foolish. Yes, this prayer business might look like it's nonsense. But God has chosen to use the foolish things of this world to put to shame those who say they are wise. Hallelujah. Allow those who are wise, let them do whatever they do. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. But sooner or later, they'll come back to the, to, to, to the drawing board, to prayer, in the mighty name of Jesus. The only safest place to be is under the blood of Jesus. The only safe way of living this life is to pray, to know your God personally as an individual. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So pray, young people, pray that God, I'm hearing about this God a lot. Let me, be, let me experience you. Let me see you. Cause me to see you, Lord, in my own life. Visit me and talk to me in a convincing way. Hallelujah. So that I don't depend on hearsay. Hallelujah. And the Lord will hear that prayer in the name of Jesus. You come, Jesus' mighty name. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Hallelujah. Right. So let's quickly define faith and move on. So in Hebrews chapter uh, 11, because uh, right, that's where the character is we are going to study is talked about most. Hallelujah. And you know that the book of Hebrews talks about uh, the faith, uh, the heroes of faith. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1, it says, Now faith is the assurance. Faith is an assurance. It is a confirmation. It is a title deed of the things we hope for. Right, so we are talking about the manifestation of our destinies. And what is a destiny? A destiny is why you are alive. Why God created you in the first place. God has created a colorful destiny for you. He has destined you to rule. He has destined you to shine. He has destined you to be joyful, to be happy, to achieve certain things for God and for men. Hallelujah. You've got an assignment that you have been given by God. Hallelujah. And that assignment has to be completed on time. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Right. So faith is the assurance, confirmation, the title deed of the things we hope for. Right. So if you are hoping to occupy a big office and commanding some big businesses, or, or a, a group of people and being prosperous and everything, right? That is going to, that is your, you, you are destined to get it. That is what you are aspiring for. Hallelujah. And you get there by faith. You are aspiring to be a doctor or a, be a lawyer or to be an engineer or to command some innovative uh, 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 things here on earth, Right? You are going to get there by faith in the name of Jesus. And God is going to help you. And you remember that, you see, it's not just achieving things, but it's achieving things in the correct way, in the correct <laughs> context, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 
It's not just about getting money and fill our pockets with money. Right? We can't be selling drugs and fill our pockets with the money and say, as long as I've got money, it doesn't matter how I got it. It's, it doesn't work that way in the name of Jesus. It doesn't work that way. That I want to be joyful and it doesn't matter the way I get my joy. Actually, when we do not get joy from God, it's not going to be got anywhere else. The Holy Spirit is the only source of joy. Yes, happiness is different. Happiness is someone can travel to a place where they're jumping up and down and do this, this, this and then decide they are, they're happy. Right? For happiness, you have to travel. For happiness, you have to do something extra. You have to, you have to, yes, you can achieve some happiness for a short time. But as far as joy is concerned, it comes from the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. And that is what is needed because in joy, when you've got the joy of the Holy Ghost, you've got happiness, you've got peace, you are going to enjoy your achievements in this life. You are going to be given the power to enjoy your office, to enjoy your, uh, your, your business, to enjoy your husband, to enjoy your wife, to enjoy your children, to, uh, to enjoy your promotion. You are going to be able to be given, to be given the power to enjoy life. Say thank you, Jesus. Besides that one, yes, sir. There might be something going on. Yes, sir. Things may be put together. Things can be pulled here and there, everything. Right? But there will not be any joy. I was listening to someone who was saying, this man, he chased away his wife. And now he's living in a big house on his own. Say, get away, Satan. In Jesus' mighty name. You might be driving this or that or that, but if you... If you <laughs> Sorry, okay, okay. Let me let me go back. Let's go back to the scripture. Right, so I've got a few minutes now before we start to pray. So faith, we have seen it that it is an assurance. So we are assured to get to our desired destination by faith in God. And faith is a confirmation. It's confirmed that you will get there. It's confirmed that you are going to achieve your destination, your goals in life, your visions and your dreams in this life. It's confirmed by God. When we are moving by faith, in the name of Jesus, and he continues to say, it's a title deed. A title deed, you know, it's a document. It's written. A title deed is written. It's a document that is written. Yes, proving ownership of certain things, certain properties or, or yes, properties, be it a house or a car or something important. Hallelujah. Some gold or some silver, precious things. If there's a document, a certificate that proves that, yes, this, this, this belongs to so and so. Hallelujah. Right. So faith now is a document. It's document, it's confirmed, confirmed documentation of you achieving your destiny. Say thank you, Jesus. So we cannot do without faith. Right. Let's let's move on. Let's move on. Right. So it says now it's a faith is assurance, confirmation, title deed of the things we hope for, being the proof of things we do not see. It's a proof of the things that we do not see. There are some people who want to move by sight. It, it, it doesn't work here. It doesn't work. It's not you and me. As for us, we move. Not by what we see. Not by what we fear, but by faith in God. So, it is a proof that the things that we do not, we, that we hope for are there. The existence of the things. It's a conviction of the reality of the things that are not yet perceived by our senses. It's a proof and a conviction of the reality of the things that we are hoping for from God. Hallelujah. Say thank, thank you, Jesus. A proof of the reality of the existence of the things that we are hoping for. Say thank you, Jesus. Now, we are manifesting our destinies by faith. 
We have the definition of faith now. And now we are looking at a case study. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 8. It says, Edged on by faith, Abraham, when he was called, obeyed and went forth to a place which he was destined to receive as an inheritance. Say thank you, Jesus. Abraham left his country of heir of the Chaldeans. If you are to look at it and to define it, try to locate it on the map right now. It's on the northern part of Kuwait. It's on the southern part of Iraq. Hallelujah. Modern day Iraq and Kuwait. Northern side of Kuwait. Southern part of, of Iraq. Hallelujah. That's where Abraham came from. Heir of the Chaldeans. And we know that he was crossing. He went over westwards or northwest towards Canaan. Towards the promised land. So here it says now. He went forth to a place he was destined to receive as an inheritance. How did he go? By faith. Say thank you, Jesus. You are going to receive your qualifications. You are going to receive whatever you are aiming for. Whatever you are dreaming about by faith. Yes, sir. Faith without works is dead. You are putting some work into it. Hallelujah. You are working and you are praying. You are believing God. You are moving by faith. Actually, Abraham walked. He had to take action to go to where God was leading him. Right. I've lost time. Okay. So, he went forth to a place destined to... To, to be received as an inheritance. And he went, although he did not know or trouble his mind about where he was going. He didn't trouble his mind about where he was going. He was moving by faith and not by sight. He was moving by faith and not by feeling, not by fear. Hallelujah. The devil wants us to use fear. But we move by faith in God. That when you trust God, you are saying, God, you are, a re you are reliable. That God you are trustworthy, you will never let me down. Hallelujah. So now uh, we choose to believe God. Say thank you, Jesus. Say thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I wish I had more time. Okay. Prompted by faith, he went as a temporary residence in the land which was destined in the promise of God, though he was like a stranger in a strange country, living in tents with Isaac and Jacob, fellow heirs with him of the same promise. Hallelujah. Right. If you read in Genesis 11, that's when you start to hear about this man. He was he, he had his dad, his father, Terah. And then in Genesis chapter 12, when Terah died, when dad, his, his dad died, then God came to Abraham and said, right, go, go, continue. Right, now, in verse 17, no, Hebrews chapter 11, verse 10, for he was waiting expectantly and confidently, looking forward to a city which has fixed and firm foundations, whose architect and builder is God. We are looking for a destiny whose architect and builder is God. We are not looking for a substitute to our destiny. We are not looking for a substitute, a, 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 what is it? A copycat of our destinies. We need to manifest the reason why we were created by God. And the only way to do it is to move by faith. Pray to God. Yes, move as a Christian. Don't allow the devil to hand you over a fake and a copycat destiny. That we spend the whole of our lives just being occupied by a copycat, by a, a substitute destination. Say, get away, Satan. And Abraham now is saying he was expecting. He was looking for... A fixed, he was looking for a city 
the city with fixed and firm foundations, whose architect and builder thereof is God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm so happy that our children are hearing and they're here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So let us build our lives on God. That the one we were looking for a destiny that God has created for you for. In the name of Jesus. The creator, the, 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 the architect and the builder thereof should be God. That when you get into, your, into the road to your destination, to your destiny, you find God pulling resources behind you. God putting everything, divine connections, divine links, destiny helpers, all being orchestrated to come to your aid. And the road, yes, the enemy will try his best to distract you, but the road will be smoother. In the name of Jesus, they might throw you in the fire, but because you are moving in the correct direction, you are going to achieve your destiny and you have faith in God. The fire will not have power over you. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. They might throw you into the flooded river, but because you are looking for a city, the architect and the builder thereof is God, you are not going to be drowned. The witches might curse you, but the curse will back fire. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Whatever device of the enemy that will be fashioned against you as you move and trying to manifest the, your divine destiny, those devices will backfire in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, I've just lost time and I wish I had more time to explain this thing. Hallelujah. <laughs> right. Right. Let's see how far we can go before we, we try start to pray because we're going to pray in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Say thank you, Lord Jesus. And in Hebrews chapter 11, Verse 17 says, By faith Abraham, when he was put to test, while the testing of his faith was still in progress, he had already brought Isaac for an offering. Hallelujah. You hear now, it's, there's another twist. Right? Abraham, yes, he was old. He got a child when he was old, almost a hundred years. But God took him further. And he said, now, hey, Abraham, hey, come here. Offer your son. The son whom you waited for for a long time. I want you to kill him and put him on an altar and burn him as a, as a sacrifice to me. Hallelujah. <laughs> Say thank you, Jesus. Say thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Say thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. So God is, is with us. And when we obey him, when we move by faith and not by fear, right, we are not going to be, to be swayed by the achievements of our lives. That God, yes, answers our prayers. Like most of us, we've got testimonies. Where we are, the fact that we are still alive, it's a testimony on its own. In the name of Jesus. But then now, see, sometimes there is a temptation of being preoccupied by the blessing of God. And that now, hey, I've achieved what I was looking for. I got what I wanted. I have more money. Just, then, then, then we forget God. And we say now we are preoccupied by the blessing. Hallelujah. But God is saying we need to trust him all through and through. What happened to Abraham? I'll just paraphrase it right, right now. What happened to Abraham when he was asked by God to bring Isaac as an offering? Right. Abraham, yes. He might have doubted God first of all. That, is this the voice of God? Is this God speaking? I don't know whether he told his wife Sarah that we are going to, I'm going to offer your son to on the off, to bear, to, to burn your son as an as, as a lamp. Hallelujah! I don't know whether he did it, but what happened was when he obeyed, instead of him losing his son, now God pronounced that he say now, in blessing I'll bless you. And in multiplication, I will multiply you. And then he says now, and Abraham believed God. And it was accounted for, to him for righteousness. Hallelujah. It was accounted, that's in Genesis chapter 15. Right, you can read that one. That was another scripture we were supposed to read. Right, 
and it was accounted, and then Romans chapter 4, it was accounted for him for righteousness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He believed God. And then God said, oh, now I've seen your heart, Abraham. Right? As we are trying to manifest our destinies by faith, God would always want to take us higher. So you bring some things along the way. To, to, to sound, to check, are we still together, Abraham? Are we still together? Are you still moving by faith? Are you still trusting me? Are you still trusting you, me with your all your heart? Are you still looking for a city? The architect and the builder thereof is God. Are, you, are we still together, Abraham? Hallelujah. So you bring like, a, he says, bring your Isaac. Yes, offer him on the, sec, on the altar. Offer him. And Abraham obeyed God and believed God. And then God said, now you're going to be the father of many ethnic groups. Yes, you didn't withhold your only son, one son. But because you obeyed me, then I'm going to multiply you into numbers. Your children, your descendants are going to be like the stars of heaven. Hallelujah. Right now, when he comes to your office, believe God. Move by faith. God wants, is wants to expand your office. He wants to bless you beyond your imagination. He wants to bless us beyond our imagination. That when we obey him and we move by faith and not by fear, not by calculations, not by what, not by what friends are saying or social media is saying or what the internet is saying, right? We are going to be blessed, yes, sir, beyond our imaginations, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, hallelujah. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, <laughs> right, believe God in the name of Jesus. We have an opportunity to put God to test, hallelujah. He says, try, try me, test me now, and see if I will not open the windows of heaven and pour a blessing upon you that you have no capacity to hold. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say thank you, Jesus. I wish I had time. In the name of Jesus. I've skip, skipped a ton. Yeah, okay, fantastic. I know what we're going to do. In the name of Jesus. Pray this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus Christ, come into my heart. Make me a child of God. Lord Jesus Christ, Come into my heart and take permanent residence in my life. Lord Jesus Christ, forgive me for not moving by faith. Forgive me for all the rebellion, all the unbelief. Forgive me of every sin, every secret sin, every secret transgression that I committed in your face. Lord Jesus Christ, wash me clean with your blood. And make me a brand new person. I need to manifest my destiny by faith. I cannot do it without you, Lord Jesus. Come into my heart and take permanent residence in my life. You, Satan, and all your unbelief, and your deceits, and your fear, and your, your, your faithlessness, I command you to scatter by fire in the name of Jesus. Say, my God, my Father. I thank you that I'm now, now your child forever. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Say every witchcraft altar in my father's house, interfering with my destiny, I pull you down by fire. In the name of Jesus, say every witchcraft altar in my father's house, interfering with my destiny, be pulled down by the whirlwind of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, say every witchcraft altar in my father's house, be pulled down now, yes, by the whirlwind of God. Every witchcraft altar in my father's house, every witchcraft altar in my mother's house that is interfering with my destiny, I command you to be pulled down by the whirlwind of God. In the name of Jesus, every witchcraft altar that is in my father's house, that is in my mother's house, that is in my in-law's house, 
Yes, and interfering with my destiny. I command you to catch fire and burn to ashes. I command you to catch fire and burn to ashes. I command you to catch fire and burn to ashes. In the mighty name of Jesus, say every witchcraft altar that is interfering with my destiny. I command you to catch fire and burn to ashes. Witchcraft altars in my environment. Which Witchcraft altars in my neighborhood that are interfering with my destiny. Catch fire and burn to ashes. 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 In the name of Jesus, say witchcraft altars of my father's house, of my mother's house, that is monitoring my destiny and interfering with my destiny. I command you to catch fire and burn to ashes. I command you to catch fire and burn to ashes. In the name of Jesus, say every witchcraft altar, opening the gates of affliction in my life, catch fire and burn to ashes. Every witchcraft altar, opening the gates of affliction in my life, catch fire and burn to ashes. In the mighty name of Jesus, every witchcraft altar, opening the gates of affliction, opening the gates of rejection, every opening the gates of hindrances. Yes, I command you to catch fire and burn to ashes. Every witchcraft altar that is strengthening hindrances in my life, in my destiny, I command you to catch fire and burn to ashes. In the mighty name of Jesus, every witchcraft altar that is hindering the shining of my destiny, the manifestation of my destiny. I command you to catch fire and burn to ashes in the mighty name of Jesus. Say satanic traffic in my environment. Yes, I command you to catch fire and burn to ashes. Yes, witchcraft traffic. Yes, in my environment. I command you to be scattered by fire. Be scattered now by fire. Witchcraft traffic. Witchcraft traffic jam. Yes, in my environment. In the ring, the manifestation of my destiny. I command you to catch fire and burn to ashes. Pray that prayer for yourself. In the name of Jesus, witchcraft traffic gem, witchcraft traffic in my environment, interfering with my destiny, interfering with the space and achieving my destiny. I command you to scatter by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Say in any impediments, any witchcraft impediments, any witchcraft gates, any witchcraft bars of iron that have been put in my way of achieving my destiny. I command you to catch fire and burn to ashes in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, every witchcraft impediment, any satanic bar stopper that the enemy, witches and wizards, have bugged my destiny in. I command it to catch fire. Fire and burn to ashes in the mighty name of Jesus. Any stumbling blocks, any stoppages in achieving my destiny, I command them to be destroyed by fire. I command them to be destroyed by fire. Say every spirit of doubting God that has been programmed against me and therefore hindering me from manifesting my destiny, I command you to catch fire and burn to ashes in the name of Jesus. You spirits, yes, of fear that have been programmed against my life. You spirits of moving by sight programmed against my life and therefore hindering me from achieving my destiny, I command you to catch fire and burn to ashes. I command you to catch fire and burn to ashes. I command you to catch fire and burn to ashes. In the mighty name of Jesus, say any satanic river, any satanic flood that has been generated to hinder me from crossing over and achieve my destiny, I command you to dry up by fire. Dry up now by fire. Dry up now by fire. In the name of Jesus, say every cauldron of darkness speaking against my destiny. I command you to break into pieces by fire. Every cauldron, every witchcraft portal of darkness speaking against my destiny. 
speaking against my shining, speaking against my glory, speaking against my career, speaking against my health, I command you to be smashed into pieces by fire. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus, say all my virtues that have been swallowed by evil altars, I command them to be vomited now by fire. In the name of Jesus, say my courage that has been swallowed by evil altars, be vomited now by fire. In the name of Jesus, say my driver has to achieve my destiny that has been swallowed up yes, by evil altars, be vomited now by fire. In the name of Jesus, say any power in the spirit, any satanic altar that has swallowed up my driver to achieve my my destiny, my courage my, to achieve my destiny. Yes, I command you uh, to, to vomit it by fire. I command you to vomit my destiny by fire. In the name of Jesus, uh, say any satanic power that has swallowed uh, the edge to achieve destiny. Yes, on my children, uh, I command it uh, to be destroyed by fire. In the name of Jesus, uh, say you satanic criminals uh, that have stolen uh, the edge to achieve uh, notable destinies. Uh, from, from my children, I command you to restore them and die by fire. In the name of Jesus, say any witchcraft power that has stolen, yes, the world with all, yes, to achieve my destiny. I command you to catch fire and burn to ashes. In the name of Jesus, say any satanic power that has swallowed my zeal, that has swallowed my enthusiasm yes, to achieve a colorful destiny, to achieve my destiny in life. I command you to be destroyed by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. And in, in the name of Jesus, say any power that has taken away strength from my life, that has taken away the zeal and the vision and the, the strength to achieve a colorful destiny, to achieve my destiny here on earth, I command you to catch fire and burn to ashes in the mighty name of Jesus. Say any bewitchment that is working upon me, hindering my destiny, I command it to be reversed by the blood of Jesus. Say any bewitchment working upon my destiny, they has been reversed now by fire in the name of Jesus. Say any charm that is being used against my destiny, catch fire and burn to ashes. Any mute that is working against me, just from and hindering me from achieving my colorful destiny, I command you to catch fire and burn to ashes. In the mighty name of Jesus, say any satanic power that has put me on a spiritual merry-go-round, I command you to catch fire and burn to ashes. In the mighty name of Jesus, say any satanic power, any witchcraft power, any witchcraft altar that is causing me to work hard and achieve nothing, I command you to catch fire and burn to ashes. In the name of Jesus, any satanic power frustrating my efforts, I scatter you by fire. Any witchcraft power from my father's house, from my mother's house, frustrating my efforts. I command you to catch fire and burn to ashes in the mighty name of Jesus. Any witchcraft power from my village, frustrating my efforts. I command you to catch fire and burn to ashes. Any witchcraft power from my in-laws, yes, from the environment, from my neighborhood, that is frustrating my efforts. I command you to catch fire and burn to ashes in the name of Jesus. Say any power, any spirit, any man, any woman that is casting the efforts of my hands, that is casting the endeavors of my life. I command you to catch fire and burn to ashes. I release fire on you. I release fire on you. In the name of Jesus, say any witchcraft power, any evil personality, any household wickedness, any polygamous witchcraft that is working and frustrating the efforts of my life, the endeavors of my life, 
You are a liar. I command you to be buried by fire. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Say, my God, my Father, give me the power to achieve and to manifest my destiny. In the name of Jesus, say, my God, my Father, I need Holy Ghost power. I need Holy Ghost fire to manifest my destiny. In the mighty name of Jesus, hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, say, any satanic padlocker assigned to lock up my destiny in the spirit realm, I command you to be shattered into pieces. In the name of Jesus, Hallelujah. You might not understand how these padlocks work. Right, we're taking a break for a few seconds. Right, these witchcraft padlocks, a person goes to an evil altar. Altars, ladies and gentlemen, are dangerous. Altars are dangerous. That's where evil is concocted. Because on an evil, on an altar, even our altar, we call about, we say this fire prayer altar. Right, this is a place of, of, of meeting. That is the place where, the, where humanity meet, meets divinity. Hallelujah. This is where the physical and the spiritual meet and transact. Hallelujah. Say thank you, Jesus. Say thank you, Jesus. An altar is a dangerous place. Hallelujah. So if there is an altar... Where a native doctor, where a sorcerer is conjuring evil spirits or calling upon evil spirits, the evil spirits will come right there. And then he starts to program evil against a Christian. Right now we are coming on the greatest altar of ever. The altar of the blood of Jesus. We are coming to the altar of Jesus. We are coming to the altar of the Holy Ghost. We are coming to the altar of Jehovah, El Sabaoth. Hallelujah. And we are calling upon him in righteousness and in holiness. And God is coming and manifesting. And now there is the meeting of divinity and humanity. And now whatever we are saying is happening. Is happening in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. This is how... We, how your destiny is going to manifest, how you're going to take to, to get your testimony, your miracle in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So we are destroying every satanic altar. Right, let's go back. Now they can take now a padlock and start to speak at this altar and they lock it and say some things, program some things in the padlock. Say as long as this padlock is locked the womb of that woman is locked. She's not going to get any child. As long as this padlock is locked, he's not going to prosper. He's not going to go anywhere. Until now, you come to the greatest altar of the blood of Jesus and you undo the works of the devil. You undo what the enemy has said to the padlock and command the padlock to catch fire and burn to ashes. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Say every padlock. We've run out of time. Hallelujah. Say every satanic padlock assigned to lock up my destiny in the spirit realm. I command you to be shattered into pieces by fire. 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 Every witchcraft padlock that has been used to lock up my destiny, to lock up my business, to lock up my finances, to lock up my career, to lock up my, my, my wife, to lock up my husband, to lock up my marriage, to lock up my children. I command you to be shattered into pieces by fire. 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 In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Hallelujah. Say, I decree in my heart. I confess with my mouth. Divine favor upon me. Divine progress in my life. 
divine blessings in my life. In the name of Jesus, I decree in my heart, I confess with my mouth that I'm the head, I'm not the tail. I'm on top, I'm not below. I'm above, I'm not beneath. In the name of Jesus, I decree in my heart, I confess with my mouth, I receive divine connections. I receive destiny helpers. I receive destiny connections. I receive destiny contacts. I receive destiny restoration. I receive destiny breakthroughs. I receive destiny fervor. I receive destiny open doors. I receive destiny blessings. I receive destiny healing. I receive destiny health. I receive destiny progress. I receive de destiny acceleration. Destiny speed. In the name of Jesus, say I receive destiny ideas. I receive destiny innovation. I receive destiny abilities. In the mighty name of Jesus, say I decree my heart. I confess with my mouth that I'm healthy, abundantly healthy. I am rich, abundantly rich. I'm successful, abundantly successful. I'm prosperous, abundantly prosperous. In the mighty name of Jesus, say I cover myself with the blood of Jesus. I cover everything that concerns me with the blood of Jesus. Say witchcraft chains that were being used against me, they are broken up. All of them by the blood of Jesus. Say evil covenants that were working against me. They are nullified. They are overruled by the blood of Jesus forever. Say satanic covenants. Satanic covenants are nullified and destroyed forever by the blood of Jesus. Say family cases, parental cases. Yes, any case, evil pronouncements that were made against me, against my life, against my destiny. You are cancelled by the blood of Jesus forever. Say any enchantments, any divinations, incantations, any bewitchments on my destiny. You are now cancelled forever by the blood of Jesus. Say manifest now. My divine progress manifest now. My divine riches manifest now. My divine wealth manifest now. My divine talents manifest now. My divine skills manifest now. My divine education manifest now. My divine qualifications manifest now. My divine business manifest now. My divine career manifest now. My divine job manifest now. My divine shining manifest now. My divine healing manifest now. My divine health manifest now. My divine testimony manifest now. My divine character manifest now. Manifest now. Manifest now. Manifest now. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Hallelujah. We thank you, Father, for your mercy and your loving kindness, sir. for your goodness upon our lives, Lord. We magnify the name of the Lord who is worthy of our praise. We thank you, Father, for the power, yes, to look for a city. The architect and the builder thereof is you, God, Jehovah. That our destinies are, let them manifest as we move by faith in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, that our destinies are assured. Our destinies are guaranteed. We have the title deed of our destinies, even as we move, believing you, O oh God, taking you at your word. We thank you that you're watching over your word to perform it. We thank you, Father, that you never leave us nor forsake us. We thank you, Lord, that you will never disappoint us. In the mighty name of Jesus, we worship you, Lord. Manifest your power in our community. Manifest your power upon your people, upon their families, upon their marriages, upon their careers. You know them more than they know themselves. Manifest yourself in their lives, Lord. Manifest yourself in our children, O oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, O oh my Father. Cause our children to have their own burning bush experiences. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, my Father. We believe you. With all our families, our children, our husbands, our wives. In Jesus' mighty name we pray.